Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds maximum level sum in a binary tree. First, let us take an example. In the first input, sum of all nodes at 0th level is 4. Sum of nodes at the first level is minus 3. Sum of nodes at the second level is 6. Hence, the maximum sum will be 6. Now, let us see the approach. The idea is to do level order traversal of the tree. While doing the traversal, process nodes of different levels separately. For every level being processed, compute sum of nodes in the level and keep track of maximum sum. Now, let us see the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node that is 7 to max level sum function. So, root will point to 7. Since root is not null, we take a result variable and initialize it to root's data. So, result will be 7. Next, we take a queue and push the root node which is 7 into the queue. As the queue is not empty, we enter the while loop and take a count variable which will be equal to the number of elements in the queue. So count will be 1. Next, we take a sum variable and initialize it to 0. Then we enter the inner while loop and decrement count. Now. In the inner while loop, we take a node temp which will point to the front of the queue and pop it. So temp will point to 7 and 7 will be popped. Next we add nodes value to sum. So sum will be 7. Then we enqueue the left and right children of the dequeued node. So 6 and 5 will be enqueued. As both sum and result are same. Result remains 5. Since count is 0, we break out of the inner while loop and continue with the outer while loop. So now count will be 2 as there are 2 elements in the queue. We reset sum to 0. Next we decrement count by 1 and enter the inner while loop. So now temp will point to 6 and 6 will be dequeued. Then we add 6 to sum. In the next step, we enqueue the left and right children of 6 into the queue. So 4 and 3 will be enqueued. Since count is greater than 0, we continue with the inner while loop and decrement count. So count will now be 0. Now temp will point to 5 and 5 will be dequeued. We update sum to sum plus 5. So sum will be 11. Next, we enqueue the left and right nodes of temp. Since left and right of 5 is null, nothing is enqueued. And as count is 0, we break out of the inner while loop. Then, we update result to max of sum and result. Since 11 is greater than 7, result will be 11. We continue with the outer while loop as the queue is not empty. So, now count will be 2 as there are two elements in the queue. We reset sum to 0. Next, we decrement count by 1 and enter the inner while loop. So count will be 1. Now temp will point to 4 and 4 will be popped. We update sum to sum plus 4. Next, as left and right of 4 are both null, nothing is enqueued and we continue with the inner while loop and decrement count. So now temp will point to 3 and 3 will be popped. We add 3 to sum, so sum will be 7. Since left and right of 3 are null, nothing is enqueued and as count is 0, we break out of the inner while loop. Now as result is not greater than sum, result is not updated and as q becomes empty, we break out of the outer while loop as well and we have the final result which is 11.
With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.